I'm about to start a new journey, a bullet hell journey. After playing Rocket League lots and lots and hundreds of hours over the last few years, I've realised I'm getting no better. I'm very much sort of hit my peak, which isn't great, not very good. And, um, you know, there is one significant problem with Rocket League, and that's the people that play Rocket League. It's just full of cretins that drive me mad. So, yeah, I thought I'd put those hours into something a bit more productive and a bit more just just something better and I was reminiscing about Ikaruga on the Gamecube and how much I enjoyed it back in the day and I thought wouldn't it be good to play that sort of game again I don't know why I never went back and played more I suppose I was limited being primarily a PC and Gamecube gamer back then but yeah that sort of started to trigger kind of like my obsessive behaviors with things that I, that I get and uh, started to research into bullet hells really and yeah uh, it's very much like jumping into the abyss and uh, yes I am now wanting to play lots of bullet hells so I have chosen three games to start my journey and those three games are number one Bluish Resurrection which is a free game made by some Japanese dude and it is um, yeah amazing for a free game it is yeah just a really good friendly easy to pick up bullet hell and you know it it's just for a jumping in point because you don't have to invest anything other than the controller really because it is PC and you're not going to play that with keyboard although it has the option um, yeah, it, it's, it's a great starting point I think and I'll do a special video on that uh, very soon because I've played quite a lot of it and I've really enjoyed it and the second game is a bit more retro I've got Batsukan which is originally out on the Sega Saturn and I've been playing that, enjoying that, it is much more difficult and um, you know I got to stage 4 out of 5 I believe and you know I'm making progress, it's that sort of game you know you just do one more go and you get a bit further and further and I love the, the sort of art style on it, the sort of kind of based around sort of the set, set well setting off from the ocean and it just uh, the colours vibrant, fantastic game and number three this is the big one for me because I have had a go, I had to have a go and that is Crimson Clover and my word is that amazing, it's got so much going on on the screen, it looks insane but somehow it just works and I'm excited for that and that is the one that sort of come out on top of my research that was the one that people said not only is it great for for new people to the genre it is fantastic game anyway and uh, yeah that is awesome I've bought that on PC on Steam and I've pre-ordered the uh, sort of like physical switch version which is one of those limited sort of not limited run but one of those companies are doing it and uh, yeah I had to get it because I know I'm gonna love it and that really has reinforced that I'm going to enjoy jumping into these games and just sort of learning them all and just sort of embracing the whole kind of bullet hell world and um, next thing I need to do is get a controller I can't be using my pro controller and my third party controller on the PC I need to get something better so I've been looking at the 8-bit dough arcade stick so if you've got any recommendations let me know and um, also hardware is there a console I should be getting I was thinking maybe a Japanese Sega Saturn would be the ideal choice for me to to sort of uh, you know jump into it to, to play older games and sort of build up my uh, sort of bullet hell shmup collection uh, but again put pop your recommendations in let me know what you think I should be getting and all, that goes for games as well. Any games you think I should be getting that I'm, you know, I've ordered a ton. I've, I've ordered a lot of bullet hells and stuff. And they're all sort of coming through the post as we speak. And uh, yeah, so I'll be to probably do a little pickup special on that. So yeah, keep an eye out. I'll be doing videos on all the games I'm playing, what I think of them, how I think they are suitable for maybe newer people like myself and we shall see how it goes yeah so hopefully join me on this journey thank you very much for watching stay awesome bye